welcome to savi it solutions now we are making a video on conditional operators from few videos onwards we are making operators concept so the first two videos are operators theoretically we learned and next two videos are learning practically the first video consists of arithmetic relational and logical operators and the next video consists of assignment and increment by decrement operator now we are learning uh, conditional operators in the next video we are learning bitwise operators okay in conditional operator we are i we will explain 5 uh, to 6 programs and we make it a little bit better understandability okay so we are using turbo c++ compiler for running c programs it opened so i will take new file and here i will start conditional operator programs so uh, the first one is greatest of two numbers greatest two okay so as you include std io dot h as you include Conio dot h wide main CLRS here get ch so while checking greatest of two numbers we need two numbers a comma b okay so we need to read two values now we are reading in a single line so slash and enter two values scan of percentage d comma percentage d a comma b address of a comma Address of B. Now we need to check the condition A greater than B. A greater than B is equal to sorry question mark printf colon printf semicolon. Okay. So here percentage D is greater than percentage uh, no only percentage d is greatest comma a similarly percentage d is greatest b so very simple i am running it so 10 a okay here no comma is required 10 and 20 20 is the greatest similarly 20 and 10 20 is greatest it gives okay this is the way we are writing same program can be rewrite in different way so one more variable we need to take it as g now this g is equal to a greater than b question mark a colon b so now we are printing percentage d is greatest comma g so while compiling it no errors while running it 10 comma 20 20 is greatest so i think you understand very clearly two the way two ways okay so now we are moving to next program that is equal to that is even number or one number even odd 
as include studio dot h as include conio dot h wide mind so here we need only one number in n okay so print f enter number here we need to check n mod 2 is equal to is equal to 0 question mark print f so here i need to print percentage d is even comma n percentage d is odd comma n so here make a point that so why i am dividing with zero the even number or odd number definition is if a number divided by 2 the remainder is zero then it is called even number which is not equal to zero then it is called odd number that's why i am dividing with the two and finding the remainder the remainder is zero then it is even number otherwise it is odd number we decided so error so right good question mark so if errors are coming in lively we are uh, solving it then you will get better okay instead of uh, unknown things well uh, running the programs the errors will be occurred that is the best scope for you to learn okay see here scan up is missing so they take garbage value and process it okay even so now i am running 9 it is odd wonderful so now i am going to next program that is leap year or not okay as include Yes, yeah. Get C H. So leap year we need to enter year. So year module four it will become leap year. So print of enter the year. Scan up. percentage d am percent year so now we need to check year mod 4 is equal to is equal to 0 question mark colon semicolon print f print f what we need to say percentage d is leap year comma year similarly here also not a leap year percentage d is non leap year comma year okay this is the way we are representing it no errors run the program 1999 so is non leap year so again we need to run 2000 it is a leap year fine so this is the way we are finding it so the next one is i think we learned three programs one is greatest of two numbers next is leap year or not and um, 
even number or not number now we need to check the given number is positive number or not okay so in this program we are checking the given number is positive number or not so so here also we need to take only one number so enter number scan up percentage d m percent n now if that number is greater than equal to 0 it is positive otherwise it is negative percentage d is so simple we represented uh, not more positive number comma n similarly here also percentage d is negative number comma n so after compiling it minus 10 it is negative number less 10 it is a positive number so the next program is fact uh, second number is factor of first number or not ok so we need two numbers so that we need to read two numbers here enter two numbers scan of address of a comma address of b so now we are checking a mod b is equal to 0 percentage d is factor of percentage d B comma A. Similarly, percentage D is not a factor of percentage D B comma A. So after compiling it, no errors. After running it, so so the number is twenty and the number is ten. Ten is a factor of twenty. Similarly, I will give second uh, things twenty and 9 so not a factor so this is what exactly we are learning it so finally last program that is the sixth program we are discussing it greatest of three numbers okay so previously we learned greatest of two numbers now we are learning greatest of three numbers so simply G3, right.
okay ash include std io dot h ash include conio dot h wide main clrs here get ch here we need to read three numbers a comma b comma c enter three numbers scan of percentage d okay reading three numbers is completed so here we are writing one more variable that is stored in g is g greatest so this equal to first condition a greater than b question mark this is true we need to check a greater than c this is true a otherwise c colon b greater than c question mark b colon c print f percentage d is greatest comma g now we are compiling the program i need to give 10 20 and 30 that is the greatest so similarly i will give 10 here 10 20 i am changing the order similarly we find it so 10 30 sorry 30 20 anyway it is fine thank you